Hall of the Troll King. the night under the stars, have you? Yes, I enjoyed that myself. Uh, not exactly. We just saw... Well, you'll have to smarten yourselves up a bit and get those pine needles out of your hair. Then you can come to my wedding. Oh, my name's Piergint, and I'm marrying a princess, you know. A princess with a face like an angel and a fortune in diamonds. I may be just a poor peasant now, but one day I'll be king. Oh, yeah. Lucky old you. Mm, I'd best be off. Uh, the wedding's in the hall of the Troll King. I'm Sarah and this is Jamie. Shouldn't bother. He can't hear you. He fancied himself a bit, didn't he? Nice of him to ask us to his wedding, though. But he didn't say which way to go. He sounded more interested in getting his hands on a fortune and getting married. Come on, we're following up the mountain. What's a troll, anyway? I don't know. I thought it was a plastic toy green hair. Oh, come on. I've seen them in all the shops. It's getting steep. The sun's so hot, I'm boiling. Hey, Sarah, there's a cave up ahead. He must have gone in. Let's have a look. At least it'll be cooler inside. Hmm. Certainly dark in here. And damp. Hello, hello. Watch <laughs> Oh, that's too young for slaving. Radio, no. but make good slaving. Sarah, help me! It's got two heads and three arms! Put this in! Put this in! Put this in! Oh, it's pain in town! Run, Jamie, run! This is not right! <laughs> than I remember. We were forced to dig diamonds for the troll king of the mountain. We were all his daughter's husbands once. What? All of you? Yeah. And I was the first. She got bored with each of us and sent us to the mines. She gets bored quickly. There are at least 20 of you. Mm. Peer Gint's going to marry her today. P Peer Gint? knew him once. We come from the same village. He said she was beautiful and rich. You must save him. Serves him right for fancying himself so much. Would you see him sent to a living death in the mines? Beer always had a weakness for the girls. 
but he has a good heart. More like a weakness for diamonds and being king. We'll help. Lars, you better get back in line or the guards will notice. We're one peer. Mm. And we'll be back. Bless you both. One more thing. Pierre says his bride is beautiful. And so she is. But get her angry. And you'll find out what a troll princess really looks like. This way. The passage slopes upwards. Smell cooking. Roast meat. We must be near the kitchens. Shh! Someone's coming. A troll carrying a pile of plates. It must be going to the main hall. If we follow it, we could warn Pierre. He's in deadly danger. We can't go looking like this. What we need is a disguise. There's a couple of hats and a pair of overalls hanging by the kitchen door. Let's try them on. These clothes are no good. There are two head holes. Four sleeves. The trousers are huge and they've got three legs. Troll overalls. I know, we'll both get in. Hold still. Give me that. Oh. That's my leg. Okay, Sarah. How's it feel? Weird. Yeah, you said it. Reminds me of the time we came fit in the three legged race on sports day. Remember? School is never like this. Right. Left foot first. You stepped on my foot! Ow! I said left foot first! Boy, what are you doing there, O? Get me up to Great Hall, O. Take dishes. Our disguise is work. He thinks we're from a waiter. Go in lift, O. Make speedy or food get ye cold. Then princess get ye angerish. You know what happened then, O. Me go now. Where lift o? No, have rock for brain. There lift o. Thanking much o. For heaven's sake, come on or I'll crack up. Here's a lift door. I guess we pull this lever. Of course. Have rock for brain. <laughs> <laughs> we must be here. Pull back the door and we'll see. next to the princess. She is beautiful. As for the rest of the guests, I've never seen such an ugly lot. Right, pull your hat down over your face. We just walk casually over to here with these plates. Left foot first, remember. Ready? Go. Here looks a bit drunk. Mm, more ale. <laughs> more ale! <laughs> to toast my beautiful, beauteous princesses. Beauteous. <laughs> I mean, beauty. I mean, you, it's a, it's a pity her good looks don't happen in her family. The princess is getting upset. <laughs> she didn't think much of Piers joke. Have you noticed her nose seems to be getting fatter? Mmm, and her face looks pudgier. Right, let's tip Romeo off. Psst, Pia, get out of here. Quick, or your precious princess will turn you into a slave. <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> when I want marriage guidance from a waiter, I ask for it. <laughs> now push off. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Princess. Anyone see my hat? Humans? Oh, oh it's you two. Oh, no, that's all right, my sweet. I invited them. They're, they're my friends. Your friends? <laughs> Jamie, the Princess's face. Something's happening to it. It's sprouting hair. Her ears are getting bigger and her eyes are getting smaller. Piggy! She's turning into a pig!
wild hog. Never mind about the stupid princess now. We've got to free the slaves. Uh, slaves? What slaves? The slaves that mine those diamonds you were after. Shh. Hey, Lars. Lars. In that cage. Gone. Oh, uh, all been uh, gold up to the great hall. Get us out before they come back. Yeah. You appear, Gint? Yes. Oh, oh, it's so good to see you. Get, get the keys. Mm. They're hanging up the passage. Yes, it's all right, old man. Calm down. I'll, I'll get them. Well, get on with it then. Yes, I've said I'll get them. <laughs> What was that? The whole mountain shook. The no, no, mountain king's angry. Oh, oh, oh. We'll all be buried alive. He's some kind of earth tremor. Quick, the troll pack will be here any second. Where's Pierre got to? Persons again, a doublish helping. Here, help us! Uh, Pierre Gint, uh, 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 oh, oh. Go on, Pierre, give him the old one, two, and we'll give him the two puncher, like so. And then we go! Here, here, I found the key. There you go. I never thought to see you again. <laughs> Oh, we're free. We're free. Oh, thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. 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 Thank no use. There's nowhere to hide there. Oh, no. Come on! Look, there's a crack in the far wall. We can smash through. What with? Our bare hands? What about the traps the slaves use for the diamonds? They're heavy enough. We can run on them. Brilliant idea, Sarah. Get in, everyone. Here come the trolls. I'll chuck a few rocks to hold them off. If this doesn't work, we're troll meat. Trolls aren't following. No, they can't stand sunlight. Why do you think they live underground? Oh, oh I've lost my hat. You could have lost a lot more than that. Well, I'd have got out all right anyway, you know. Oh, sure. Mm. Oh, you know, I've had enough of rich girls with two-headed relations and no sense of humour. Oh, I think I'll try the simple life. Yeah. You see that peasant girl minding those goats? She looks just my type. Cheerio. Oh, and uh, by the way, you were right. A good heart is worth more than diamonds. We better get going too. We don't want to be anywhere near here when it gets dark and the trolls come looking for us. You're right there. The thought of just seeing those trolls gives me the creeps. Whoever said two heads are better than one was nuts. <laughs> <laughs>
The music in Hall of the Troll King is Edvard Grieg's Peer Gint Suites, numbers one and two. Morning Mood begins with a dreamy tune played by flute and oboe. Strings join in, the sun is rising. Ace's death. Here the strings play a slow, melancholy tune. In Anitra's dance, both plucked and bowed strings are used, with a triangle cheekily joining in to beat time. Mountain King starts with a bassoon and plucked strings, playing a heavy, plodding tune. Drums pound and cymbals clash as the whole orchestra joins in. The music spins faster and faster. Ingrid's Lament opens with shrieks of alarm from the strings and brass. The Arab dance begins with a piccolo and flute playing a light lilting tune. The rest of the orchestra joins in and then the strings take over playing a more peaceful melody. But the first tune is soon played again. Listen out for a tambourine beating out the rhythm. Gint's homecoming. The music here sounds like a thunderstorm, a spiraling tune on the flute. Like the wind whirling, is copied more loudly by the strings and brass. Cymbals crash as the storm reaches its height. Then the flute plays a peaceful, slow tune as if the winds have died down. Sol 
Norvig's song's main theme is a slow tune, played quietly by the strings, accompanied by a harp, wind instruments and muted brass. The Peer Gint Suites are full of great moments. These are just a few of them. You're sure to find more each time you listen. <laughs> 